R&B money. I had a room at the village. They called it the Nino Brown room because I had all these black exploitation posters in my room, and I had vinyl and drum machines. And it's like like Bob, how Bob talks about his time as a kid. It was now my time, and I'm in this spaceship. I'm flying to Mars. I'm I'm on Saturn. And I'm just truth hurts. That's what it's made for, Demeter yeah, Joe. Even, uh, like, uh, uh, but you can't even you can't even spill that out yet. So before he even got to that, while we were working on my record, there was this track we, that he he had. Yeah. Truth hurts, and I was like, weird thing. Like I don't even like his, but he's great at what he does. That kind of feels like Usher. So in the midst of us working with uh, Janet at the village, Terry said, Usher's coming down and what do you guys got something? I was like, I looked at Izzy. I was like, we we had did that. He did the track and we had put the CD together with that tr with that track, track on it. Which track? Truth Hurts. Truth, Truth Hurts. Hurts. Yeah. Yeah. We, and, and it was like two, two or three years before that even. Like It might have been four because... Yeah, it might have been. It might have been. Yeah, it might have been four. Yeah. And what's crazy is we had a, this is how we were always thinking outside the box. We had a warehouse in Rancho where we were doing screen printing. We were doing shirts and everything. And we had studios oh, yeah, in there. Y'all are real Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're real Mexicans. Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexicans. Yeah. Oh, Brandy, right? So yeah. if you want to see the Olive Brothers, we got, we got our Olive Brothers shirts. <laughs> right. Like, yo, right. we came so in with it. it but, but that was the thing for us. It's the like, real yo, hustle. Right? Real yeah, hustle, bro. Real and hustles, man. We, we, and that's the way we thought. It's like, okay, we got to have, you know, okay. We Shirts, doing, we do we that. We have a screen print. We were screen print. We're Jamaican, man. We're Mexican and Jamaican. Yeah. <laughs> we got coke now. So we, we got, got so, weed so, more. So, <laughs> so, but, but that was the mentality back then. It was like, yeah. man, we just, let's put these pieces together. And I had a little room in the warehouse. And I remember linking back up with some friends from high school. They had a rap group. I was like, oh, let me do a joint. So that joint was actually the track that became Truth Hurts. Truth Hurts. And um, oh, Bob had called it back then. He was like... Man, that sounds like a that sounds like a, a Usher record or something. That Cause you be, did for a rap group, for yeah. a rap group. Yeah. So fast forward to four years when we started, you know, when we met him at the village when we we're getting ready to work on Confessions, and Bob was like, "Yo, here's that one. Get him that one joint." So we gave him a CD, and that's when it just first thing he said, "True touch." Yep. And it was like, there it is. There it is. And I remember we were we were rattling that building so tough. Every artist that came through was like, "Yo, can you give me? Can I get a Truth Hurts?" Yeah, like, new edition came by. New they edition were, came. We with them Janet too. was like, "Oh, she needs a Truth Hurts." It's like, no. Nah, like, so, okay. so tell me this, because you said um, there were people who were like staff writers, staff. You know, yeah. Can would you guys mind giving us the business of how that worked? As far as like. You know, because you said now y'all were seeing production fees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because there are, there, you know, there have been other teams that people don't really get those type of things or don't really get those, you know, that notoriety from um, from doing those things. Yeah. Especially if you're signed to. Yeah, yeah. especially if you're yeah. signed. Yeah. You, know, you know, you're signed to producers. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and at that level. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know it, what I'm saying? Because you don't, how do you ask a Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, yeah, yeah, could, you know. My fee is no. Well, well, I did. That's true. <laughs> but, and and here, here's the thing. I, I think, too, I like, one thing I will say with Jimmy and Terry is they really loved us, man. They really looked at us not as just a tool, not as just something that could, you know, bring them a hit. But Terry really fell in love with us as kids, man. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, Bobby lived with him, you know. And when it got to that time, I mean, it was very simple. It, it was different because everybody that was on staff got a salary. Okay. Me and Bob, it was different. It was like, no, it's like whatever we went out and hunt and shot and brought to the table, that's when we eat. And so, you know, but Terry, Terry understood our place and 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 he always wanted to make sure that, no, no, no. Whatever you guys do, make sure it's branded as the Avila Brothers too. So we never had problems with wow. credits, publishing. You know, Terry. Like like shout I said, out man, to Jimmy and Terry. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you know, that's not normal. It's not no. normal. It's not normal. You know, we all it, in this music business, and that's why we like to give the information. Yeah. yeah. And we like yeah. for people to understand, like, it don't always work that it way. It never works it that don't. way. You know, and you yeah. know, Terry had offered me a publishing deal and it just wasn't for me. He was like, Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll we'll still work. Didn't hold that against you. Nope. No. Wow. And 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 let me wow. do my thing. Yeah. He a and, legend on a whole nother level. Man, a whole other level, bro. Yeah, I mean, he, and was, you know, he was amazing. Terry's rule of thumb was, I'll never ask you to do something I wouldn't do. That's his, real, that's his rule yeah. of thumb. And, you know, we 
we configured and constructed our business arrangement with what made sense for the time. You know, it's like we 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 you know if we created something, we got our publishing, and you know we got paid. We got our you we know, got our fifteen. We didn't reps. get a trophy for being on the team. We got paid when we brought something to the table. You yeah. know, so I, I will say this. You know, there were and I'm not gonna say no names. There were staff writers at Flight Time. We came back in the fold. We cleaned house. Hmm. Terry's like, oh, okay, yeah, we can clean the bench now. We okay, we got we got some Jedi's here now, and and you know it was, I mean it was great, man. It was like reconnecting with our heroes. You know what I'm saying? And at the highest level. Yeah. And you know, and, and I think for us too, it really stood out when we finally got to get time with Jam. You know, because it, it was just a, it's different with Jam. Mm -hmm. You know, it's you got to have a different different pedigree for Jam. You know, Jam is like on the spot. Yeah. Will kill you on the spot. Yeah. You know, and so for him to, Treacherous. for us to circle back and Jam coming to us and say, man, I'd like for you guys to do the Janet record with me. Yo, Jam never made that available to anybody. You know, so it gave us that confidence that we also that's needed, needed to fill it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like yeah. with Terry, it was like Terry on the business side and then Jimmy on a creative and then Terry with the creative too. And then we're moving the studio. We're going to go to the Midwest. Eventually, Jam was like, all right, I'm coming. And, and he sold the crib. And he sold his castle in Minnesota. Yeah, castle, yeah. yeah, yeah I heard. I heard. Oh about yeah. It. Oh, heard, it looked like yeah. the White House. Yeah, I yeah heard straight up. Like yeah, he White had a. House. Yeah, he, he had a spread, and that was inspiration for everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like at he that point, go, are you making house music? <laughs> music that buys the house. That's yeah. what it, that's yeah. what he used to Shit. say. Yeah. Making house yeah. music. And, house and, music. And man. they have this thing where they scratch your chin like. Leon Silvers, I said, <laughs> yeah. it's good to be different, but not different. Yuck. Yuck. Shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>